I swear, making this video is so frustrating. I can't tell you how many times I have tried to film this video. If you can relate to how I feel right now, jump in the comments section below and tell me all about it. Because I swear I filmed this video like 10 times. So in this video, I'd like to share with you nine tips to help you get more engagement to your channel. Now the reason engagement signals are so important is they are one of two primary things that get your video boosted out to more people. So if you want more suggested video views, then you are going to need to get your audience retention rate up and get more engagement signals to your videos. And engagement refers to things like likes, comments, subscribes, shares, people clicking the end screen, all those types of things that tell YouTube that people are enjoying the content. So my first tip for you is to do group collaboration videos. Now the reason you want to do group collaborations is usually everybody in the group, they'll share the video, which gets you a ton of exposure. It gets people coming from their Facebook profiles and their Twitter accounts to your video. And because they know the person, it's more exciting to watch the video. And so then they'll jump in the comments section and they'll share about the video. And so it can get you a lot more engagement to your videos. Now, if you're not sure how to start collaborations, the best way that I've found to do this is to ask other creators if I can feature them on my channel. It's a great way to get the collaboration door open and it's because other creators find this very flattering and so then they're a lot more likely to let me appear on their channel. So tip number two is a really fun one and it's to analyze other creators in your videos or to showcase their work in some way. Now if you can find a way to include other creators in your content then it makes your content more engaging and sometimes these other creators, they will reciprocate and do a shout out or a reaction video, or they'll share your video on their community timeline, or they'll do something like that to say thank you for showcasing their content. But what's really important is that you follow copyright laws and that you use people's content in a way that they would appreciate. As long as you are doing things with permission and you are trying to add value, then this can be a very beneficial way to get people jumping in the comment section to talk about the video because it's something new and exciting and engaging. So a great example of this that happened to me recently was a while back I made a video on Brian G. Johnson and he chose to share my video on his community timeline. Now when he did that, that got a bunch of traffic and subscribers coming over to my channel. And I didn't know he was gonna do this, but this is one of those scenarios where hard work and preparation, when it met opportunity, success happened. And if you want to have more engagement on your channel, then make videos that other creators will want to share. If you do that, you're going to get a ton of engagement and it will help get your videos and your message boosted out to more people. So tip number three is to ask other creators if they will put your video on their community timeline. Now, this can get you a ton of traffic, but it's really hard to get this to happen if you don't go about it the right way. So first, you need to make great content. Nobody wants to share content that isn't any good. So put in the work so that your content is very shareable. And then make sure that the content that you're asking them to share is relevant to the people in their community. So for example, if you have collaborated with this person, then the video might be relevant. Or if you are somehow showcasing that other person's work, or if the content in the video that you made is something that that person's community would resonate with, then your content will be relevant. And so that person will be a lot more likely to share the content. So tip number four is super easy. Ask people at the end of your video a question where it has two choices, an option A and an option B. If you do that, you are more likely to get more engagement on your video because people don't like to think. If you make commenting easy for them by asking them a question where there's only two choices, then it's easy to comment. And so you'll get a ton more comments below your video, which will get it boosted out to more people. So tip number five is to share fresh content on your channel. Now what I mean by fresh content, and this is the hardest type to make, but take some time and actually figure out and create something new. Now the way that you do this is you study one particular thing until you have 
exhausted all of the immediately available information and you've delved deep enough into that topic that you can create something new. And if you create something new, then this will be new and exciting content, which will get a lot more engagement below the video. So either do this or make videos on trending topics, things that are hot and exciting right now, because then the content will be new and fresh and both people and the YouTube algorithm likes this type of content. So you are definitely gonna to wanna to think about your content in this way so that you can get more engagement and more subscribers to your channel. So tip number six is really important and it's to niche down your channel. Now, I know that isn't exciting to do, but if you niche down your channel and you focus on a very specific type of content, then what's gonna happen is you're going to build a community of people that are really interested in that content, which means when you release a video, your community will get really excited about the video, which will send all those positive signals, you know, such as comments and likes. And when that stuff happens, that video is gonna be boosted out to more people. Because here's the thing, a video's success depends on how it is received by your immediate subscribers. If they like the video, then it's gonna get pushed out to more people. So if you have a fired up audience, then you're gonna get more engagement and your videos are gonna get suggested more, which will get you more subscribers. So we really need to talk about tip number seven. Tip number seven is to ask yourself, how are you helping people? See, here's the mistake that I see a lot of YouTubers make. They niche down their channel, so they're focusing on a specific type of content, but then they don't make it clear what the value is to their audience. So what I mean by this is you need to ask yourself, how is your content helping them? And if you look, for example, at my channel banner, it says helping you get more subscribers. And that's the benefit to subscribing to my channel, is I'm helping you build your following on YouTube. So if that is something that you are interested in, please consider subscribing because my content will always be focused on helping you with that very specific thing. So another tip that people mess up all the time is they share their content randomly. If you want a lot of engagement on your channel, then you need to share your content in relevant groups that would actually appreciate that content. So if you want more comments and more views and more engagement to your channel, then take the time to find groups that would really appreciate your content. A super important tip that can help you out a ton if you want more engagement to your channel is to take two things that are normally not combined together and combine them together in order to create a new viewer experience. And if you do this, you will get a ton more engagement to your channel. And really all you need to do is to just look for two things that you like that are completely different and usually have nothing to do with each other, but then find a way to put them together. And when you do this, you will create content for your viewers that they typically don't see, which will get them really excited and they'll jump in the comment section of your video to tell you about it. And that will get the video boosted out to more people. If you would like to see this tip in action, I actually made a video where I eat hot chili peppers and I talk about views, and this is a perfect example of this strategy. And I also share a couple other fast hacks in this video that can help you get more views to your channel. So I will link that video at the end of this video because it will help you get the results that you are after. And I would just like to encourage you to watch it because not only will it be entertaining, but it's packed with actual actionable tips that you can take to get more engagement on your channel. So let me know, are you going to collaborate or are you going to niche down your channel? Let me know in the comments section below.